know the answers, sure attack. Click of the hills, welcome to Pyramid, the show where the kids are the stars and the celebrities get to make fools of themselves. Don't we love it? Why don't we meet our two teams today? The first are supporters of the Dragons. It's Queenie and George. <laughs> And taking them on today are two boys who love their footy and playing guitar hero, James and James. <laughs> and why don't we get to said celebrities who might try and make fools of themselves today. The first became the youngest Australian to ever win a medal in diving at the Beijing Games in Melissa Wu. <laughs> Hello. 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 Welcome to the show. <laughs> and our second special guest is a star of radio and television. You all know her. It's Lizzie Lovett. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Mwah, mwah. Welcome, welcome. Now, Melissa, I have to ask, because I'm a bit of a scaredy cat, 10 metre platform, was that tough to get into when you were young? Um, yeah, it was tough, but, um, you know, I was young and I had no fear, so I had no trouble just diving off. But, um, yeah, now I guess I'm a bit older, it's a bit more scary. It's, it, going backwards and flipping <laughs> yeah. and all that sort of stuff off 10 metres, it's a long way. Is it as scary as standing in front of kids on Pyramid, you think? Um, I don't know. We'll soon find <laughs> out. Good luck on meet your team, Melissa. Whoa! <laughs> And Miss Lovett, yes. the highlight of your career so far? I wish I could say it was winning a medal, yep. but um, probably meeting rock legends Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi? Bon Jovi! For rock the, it out! For the kids playing at home, they were a famous rock band in the 80s and 90s. Probably still famous now. Yeah, they are very famous, but yeah, it's showing my age, isn't it? Well, you're going to be with two boys who love guitar here. They're rocking out as well. Good luck. Go and meet your team, Lizzie yeah. Lovett. <laughs> Right, oh well, let's get straight into round one of Pyramid. These are the categories on the board. Flying high, far out, pop a wheelie, dig it, here somewhere, and see you, see me. We've tossed the coin. Queenie and George had a win. George, your pick. Uh, see you, see me. See you, see me. All right, Melissa, you're describing words that start with C. 30 seconds on the clock. The word will come up there. If you say that word or any part of it, that's the noise. We have to move on. No medal for you. 30 seconds, your time starts now. Okay, um, like this. So, it, um, okay, uh, what's something that does this? What's a word, a C word for, for that? Um, girls have? Curves? Uh, yeah, good, <laughs> okay. Um, it's the middle of something. Um, uh, uh, the middle of... Okay, pass. <laughs> okay, uh, someone back in the old days, er, uh, lives in a... <laughs> very, very old days. Caveman in there. In the middle of something is the centre, of course. That's all right, though. We've started off with a bang. One correct answer. Five points. George, good boy. All right, Lizzie and James. They're up. They're up, my friend. What would you like? Uh, pop a wheelie, please. Pop a wheelie. You need wheels to do these sports. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. OK. Riding a bike um, is cycling. Um, you do a whole lot of sports, three sports actually, it's three sports in one competition. Um, three sports, pass. Um, okay, you wear them on your feet, they're like, they're like skates. Oh, roller skates, uh, roll blades. Um, a little bit longer, that word, but longer, that word. Waiting. Um, okay, you're driving, you're driving fast, fast, um, driving fast around a track. Track racing? Um, racing. Oh, yeah, we would run on the right track, car racing. Car racing so close, two correct answers. Ten points for Lizzie and James. She's racing off. Melissa and Queenie. All right, Queenie, your choice. Um, could I please have dig it? You can have dig it. Now, in World War One, soldiers fought from the trenches. What things could be found in the trenches? All right, 30 okay. seconds. Good luck. Your time starts now. OK, um, this is what you wear to school. Um, um, what do you wear? Everyone back, has to wear it. Back, back, no, 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 uh, the whole thing. Everyone has to uniform. wear it. Uniform? Yep. Yeah. OK, um, it's another word for a gun. Um, a... A bigger one. A, a uh, pass. A okay. machine gun? Um, OK, it uh, goes on your face. And it has stuff inside it that can, it can kill you. It can... Gas? Uh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> OK, uh, these things live in your hair. They're really bad. You don't want these. <laughs> you don't want lice. Lice in your hair. Happy to live in that. Two correct answers for you, Courtney. Ten points. Well done to you and James and Lizzie. James, your choice. Um, can I please have here somewhere? You can have here somewhere. Guess these body parts that are all tucked away. Lizzie. Oh, OK. There might be some pointing here. 30 seconds. Yeah, there will be. Your time starts now. Um, 
Um, oh, you can get them out. Often people have to um, get them appendix. out. Um, strong, strong. Oh, biceps, muscles. Um, go, 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 go. Um, get them out as well. Uh, tonsils. Um, okay, twirly, long, long. Oh, intestines. Of... Oh, yes. Um, like my head without hair. Um, scalp. Um. Five, five for sure. With eight seconds left on the clock, James, you're so quick. 38 points of maximum for the boys. Melissa and George. George, can we repeat that? Okay. Let's hope so. What would you like? Uh, I'll go with far out. Far out. These things are all to do with our galaxy. Okay. To do with our galaxy. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, um, it's a big thing that's really dark, really scary. Uh, black hole? Yep. Okay, um, this is a type of chocolate. Uh, uh, Milky Way. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, what's this? Uh, it's a, it's a it's wormhole. A, uh, no, uh, another, uh, path. Okay, um, this thing's like, wait, well, you know, like a bookshelf and you go, and it's, it's all... D stuff? Yep, mm -hmm. Okay, um, this thing you see in the sky, it's really bright. Stuff? And, yep, mm -hmm. Um, this thing's a really big thing in the sky. Fun. Oh! Yeah. Just after the buzz, I was sun. But now we're going. Now we are really singing four correct answers. 20 points for Georgia. Melissa, well done. James and Lizzie. James, two left. Flying oh, high. Flying high, I should say. Sorry, one left. Okay. See if you can name all these things on an aeroplane. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Okay, they keep you safe. Oh, you stuck them in. Um, okay, it goes round and round and round. Oh, turbines? Fuels the engine. Yes. Fuels the engines. No. Um, kind of another word for it. Engines? Another um, helicopters have it too. Oh, um. On the top, on the top. Oh, oh. Pass. Um, you put your you, you when you recline back, you put your uh, where? Address. Um, okay, when you get your food, it comes out on a tray. Um, uh, yes, that's the first word. The next is. Uh, um, tray. Yeah, tray. Uh, Please make sure you have your tray tables stowed in the upright position, I do believe. I've been paying attention on flights. <laughs> Two correct answers there, James. Well done. Ten points. Time to check the scores. <laughs> After round one, I'm doing well on 35 points. George and Queenie. Yeah. But at the moment, our lead is on 58. James and James. <laughs> indeed, indeed. That is round one down. Round two of Pyramid right up to this. Show. It's round two, and at the moment, the team James Squared are in front, and they will be leading off in round two. These are the categories Rough Me Up, Tissue, Arty Party, H2 Work, Kickstart, and Salad Days. We've swapped our celeb, and there is a prize on the board, James. Um, can I please have tissue? You can have tissue. Things that might make you upset. Okay. 30 seconds on the clock. Your time Ready? starts now. Okay, uh, this thing you get in your finger. You get, oh, uh, cut, splinter? Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, this one, the whole world is involved. Uh, oh, shooting, um, oh, everyone, what? yep. What? Um, um, <laughs> goodbye, tears crying. Um, yeah, another word for goodbye. Bye. Uh, um, see you later. Uh, pa pass. pass. Yeah. Um, pass. Uh, this is when, you know, you have a boyfriend or something. Oh, uh, you break up? Yep. Mm hmm Okay, uh, another word for, uh, very, they would all make you cry. Breaking up would definitely make you cry. But ten points won't make you cry. That's a good effort. Two correct answers for you, James and Melissa. Queenie. Yes. Ready to go? Um, yeah. What would you like? Could I please have arty party? Arty party. Right, well. We might have an arty party here if we can get six out of six. These are all tools you might need to paint, sketch or craft a work of art. For the prize, your time starts now. Okay, you um, paint on it. It is it canvas. Is, um, you draw. You draw Sketch. with a but, um, pencil. Yeah, more of it's. It's like a texture. Uh, a texture. It's, it's got ink in it. It's a pencil pen. ink pen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, okay. You colour in. You colour with these pencils. No, something pen like crayons. Um, okay, you put the canvas on this stand. Um, like that. Another word canvas, for it. Uh, it. What is the? What is the next? Easel. Right. Easel. Unfortunately, we had to buzz you for pencil because pen, pencil has pen in it, unfortunately. But that's all right, no prize. Two correct answers, though. Ten points, Queenie. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Melissa, 
And James. Um, H2 work. Please. H2 work. All right, can you guess these occupations of people who work with water or in water? Okay. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Oh, okay. Uh, what do I do? Oh, diving? Yep. Um, okay, this person is on a boat out to sea. Um, fisherman? Um, no, no, they. Okay, pass. Uh, this person. Are pirates? Yep. Uh, okay, this person works on a beach. Um, um, they help people. Oh, lifeguard? Uh, yep, another word. Um, lifesaver? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, okay, this person, if you're learning to swim, who. Oh, um, swimming. <laughs> okay, uh, this person is on a board out in the ocean. Dude, dude, surfing. Good job there. Thanks. That is three correct answers and 15 points for James and James. Lizzie and George, off in dream world, buddy. What would you like? Uh, I'll go with salad days. Salad days. Name these things that are green. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Um, it is type of vegetable. You have it carrots, potato and they're round, small, little, green. Uh, Brussels sprouts? No, no, no. Really little, little, round, tiny. Big piece. Um, okay. It's an insect. It's insect, very sticky uh, uh, insect. Mantis? A what? A what? A praying mantis? Um, okay, it's a type of a type of plant. Tropical. A tree? Um, no. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> a fern. Oh, a fern. You were, you were actually help? acting out a fern. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> two correct for you, George. Ten points, and we're off and running still in uh, round two. Doing well. The game is rolling on, James. Um, may I have kickstart? You may have kickstart. These are all action words that start with a K. 30 seconds, your time starts now. Okay, um, if I get on my... Oh, uh, Neil? Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, grandma's doing... Uh, uh, knit? Yep. Um, if you have a boyfriend, you... Kiss? Yep. Um, uh, knock? Yep. Uh, bread? Uh, Ned. Ned. Um, Ned. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, what's that? Um, my hair, if it... Uh, I'm not. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, we're so close, of course, because you said knee for Neil. Oh, That's yeah. the one thing you want to say, isn't it? But you did a great job of a perfect score. Other than that, yep. five correct answers, 25 points. James, good Thank job. You. And for the last time in round two, Queenie, of course, rough me up. All right, how many of these things considered not smooth can you name? They're not smooth. Mm. 30 seconds. The time starts now. OK, um, you do this with it. It's the thing file? you use. Nail file? Um, OK, it's on roads. And it's, um, oh, no. they, they, they spread it on Gravels. Um, it is type of vegetable, white. A cauliflower? Um, okay, it, it is like what's in a book, but rough. Sandpaper? Um, okay, a man has it here. Beard. Stubble? <laughs> um, okay, it's type of fruit, and it's yellow, and it's got tufts up the top. Pineapple. I'll tell you what is smooth. Smooth is getting six correct answers in the time limit. That is 30 points for your team. What well a Queenie and Lizzie. That is what was called for. Let's do a time, uh, score check after round two on 85 points. George and Queenie. At the moment in front, though, on 180 points, it's James and James. That was 108. Not 180 as it may have sounded there. Hey, round three of Pyramid is coming up. Plenty more action. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you soon. for being with us and of course this is the round where we find today's champions at the moment Queenie and George just behind but there are plenty of points in this round for you guys and you're giving the clues George you've chosen Lizzie Lover to be your celebrity let's get straight to the categories they are smaller fab food mummy I saw that shove over and all that jazz George uh, I'm gonna go with I saw that I saw that these are all different types of audio-visual transmission. 30 seconds, good luck. Your time starts now. Uh, it's... Screen. TV, TV. Yeah. Oh, you have to say the full one. DVD, video, movie. No, 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 the full... The, the, full, the full part of it. The full part of it. No. Um, the screen. The no, TV. TV is... Uh, is a... It's <laughs> what you watch TV on. That's the abbreviation. What's the oh, full television. One? Yes. The full 
old one. I was like, it's when you go to the cinema and they got it's really old. Cinema, the real, the the what before? The, the real cinema. <laughs> We had a communication breakdown there. We did. Film, film was there. We were going to watch a film. TV, there's a bit of a confusion. Yeah. That's all right, don't worry. We're just starting off round three. One correct answer. Five points, George. Nice to see you smiling. <laughs> Melissa and James. Your choice, please, James. Um, fab food, please. Fab food. All right, can you name these foods that begin with the letter F? Comes up here, 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Oh, it's like when you make something cold, like on a cupcake. Um, um, it's like icing, but, uh, pass. Frosting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's what swims in the ocean. And that's Fish. The, yep, that's the first part. And the next part is like a twig. Uh, oh, it's another word for it. Like what comes off a tree, a twig. Fish stick? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, it, it, it's a rabbit. And then it's, um, frog legs. Yep. Um, okay, it's like chocolate, but it's thick and so squishy. Oh, fudge, fudge. And you know what? You did say frosting, and that was the clue, so we're going to give that one to you as well, which is good. Three correct answers for the boys. 15 points. Well done. <laughs> Queenie, are you ready to give the clues? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All right, what would you like? Could I please have mummy? Mummy! <laughs> I want my mummy. Name these different types of female animals. Uh -huh. 30 seconds. Your time... It's not that hard, come on. Your time starts now. Okay, so, um, you look, um... If you have big eyes, you look a bit eyes. Um, boggled eyes, sad eyes. Uh, it's it's a type an of animal. female animal. Yeah. Um, with big eyes, with big eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sad eyes, sad um, pass. Um, you look at something disgusting and you think. It's a female animal though. Yeah. A disgusting when you look at it's something, a female well, animal. It is, it's the word. It's the word. Um, Same word as. You. You. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We'll give you that one right at the end. And uh, a deer, a female deer is the first one. Nice. Doe, I think you're saying doe-eyed. You get doe-eyed nice. when you look at someone you like. One correct answer. Five <laughs> points. Well done, Queenie. <laughs> Melissa and James. He looks focused. Are you focused? Yeah, focused. You look focused. I like it. What would you like? Um, smaller, please. Smaller. Small rhymes with these words. 30 seconds. Right. Your time starts now. Okay, so it's not small, it's... Cool. Yep. Um, uh, you kick it, it's a... Ball. Yep. Um, okay, um, it's like a thing you can Ball. lean against. Yep. Um, uh, to get on the ground and... Fall? Uh, no, no, you move Ball. along. Yep. Okay, um, to yell out to someone. Call. Yep. Um, you walk down a... It's uh, like a narrow passage. Um... Uh, you, wa you walk down it. Down it. Oh, uh, um, yeah, okay, pa pass. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, you walk down, um, it, it's in your house. Like, uh, the last one to get a perfect score. You walked down the hall. Oh, oh. The hall was the last one, but you were on fire there, James, with your mouth. Five correct answers. 25 points, my friend. Oh, these kids are good. George? Uh, all that jazz. All that jazz. Dancers know all about these things. Were you ever a dancer? Yes, I was. Oh, well, perfect. Look at that position. Yeah. like it. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Uh, it's considered girly, and it's like you... Uh, they were tutus. Dance. Tutus. A ballerina. Yeah. Uh, it's like a break dancer and they're like rappers. Rapper. Rapper. Uh, it's uh, like that. Um, um, rap dancing, break dancer, uh, um, um, street dancer. No, um, it's hip hop. Thing. Yeah. Uh, when you got metal things on the bottom of your shoes. Um, ice skating. No, met like ice skating. Oh, tap dancing. Yeah. Uh, it's, I said it before to describe ballerina. Um, tutu. Oh, yes. Very well done indeed. Look at the tutu, George. <laughs> no, four correct answers, 20 points. Well done to you, my friend. And with one left, Melissa and James. Shove over. Shove over. Shove over. These are countries with the biggest populations in the world. 30 seconds, here we go. Your time starts now. Okay, um, it's in Asia. Um, China. Yeah. Okay, um, it's a flag is orange, white and green and they um, play cricket with... Um, India? Yeah. Okay, it's the USA. Um, United States of America. Um, short, shorten, just uh, the... America. Yeah. Um, okay, it's in Asia again, it's in Southeast Asia and... Um, Indonesia? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Um, okay, the Soccer World Cup is going there. 
tell you what, you are a knowledgeable young man, and Brazil was the last one, but you guys were doing so well there. You know your world countries and your flags. Four correct answers, 20 points. Well done. Time to find out who today's champions are at 115 points. Queenie and George. But it wasn't quite enough today, because on 168 points, today's champions, James and James. Excellent work by them. They're today's champions. They'll come back to play for today's prizes next. Well played, Queenie and George. You were great. And these prizes are yours. Every contestant on Pyramid takes home this wire pen and note ball from Bolt International. Contact the second book in the Phoenix Files from Hardy Grant Egmont and one hour of free play, power tickets and five prize games from Time Zone. <laughs>。Let's say huge congratulations to our winners today, James Squared, James and James. But their work is not done yet. They're facing the random prize pyramid now, and they're doing it alone. No celebrity help. We've taken away Melissa. We've taken away Lizzie. This time around, those 60 seconds on the clock. Yep. Plenty of prizes up for grabs. Everyone right is a prize. You can both pass at any stage. You're feeling good, James? Yeah. Are you feeling good, James? The Jameses are ready. Good luck, boys. Here we go. Your time starts now. Okay, um... Um, you sit in the car. Driving? And yeah, and um, they pick up people and you. Taxi? Yeah, um, taxi cab? No, you said it before. Alright, so you're. Um, driving a taxi? <laughs> okay, um. No, it's the name of the person who does it. Oh, taxi driver? Yeah, okay, good. Um, alright, um. Uh, okay, if you're part of something, you have, like. Alright, pass, so. Um. Um, it's when. I think it's when the, the moon passes over the sun, I think. Oh, um, uh, an eclipse? Yeah. Okay, um, it's a little thing you have on maybe your parents' table and it has all their possessions in it. it like oh, keepsakes? Safe? Uh, no, 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 it's got all their, their bands and oh, necklaces. jewelry box? Yeah, okay. Um, okay, they're little things that you, you put food into and, and they grow. They're, it's like... Um, Greenhouse? No, 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 they're, they're little toys sort of thing and, and you, you put food into it and, it, and, it, and they eventually grow. They're, oh, I pass. Okay, um, it's a thing and you have, like, um, biscuits in it. Good job. Well done. Awesome work from the Jameses there. There are sea monkeys in there. Three correct answers out of six, which means you boys taking over these three prizes. Hit a six with this cricket pack, including bats, balls, gloves and stumps, all thanks to Cricket Australia. You've won this girl's book pack containing iCarly or boys' book pack with Will Solvent and much more thanks to Paragon. Play to your heart's content with this game's pack of headbands, Rubik's Revolution and Pig Goes Pop from Crown and Andrews. So congratulations to all our players today, and particularly our champions, James and James. Let's say a huge thank you to our guests, Lizzie Lovett and Melissa Wu. Thank you very much for joining us. Until next time on Pyramid, see you later.